Having relocated from London, Lorraine now lives in Greece, looking to invest in a home in the city of Larissa. The lifestyle here is so different. I mean, you can wake up in the morning and do so many things. Loving the Greek culture has driven her to remain in Greece. But will this love result in her finding a dream home? There are so many opportunities here and you just cannot believe everything that you see in the newspapers or, or listen to on the TV. Hellenic home hunting followed Lorraine to the city of Larissa. But when it boils down to it, both houses were very, very different. Welcome to another episode of Hellenic Home Hunting, the exclusive television show dedicated to promoting the beautiful Greek real estate market to the world. In this episode, we will be featuring a well-traveled businesswoman hunting for a dream property investment in Greece. Lorraine will be looking for a property investment in the Greek city of Larissa. My name is Lorraine and I'm a British citizen. I've recently arrived in wonderful Greece. Lorraine is a British citizen originally born in Salisbury, home of the famous Stonehenge. After growing up in the countryside, she later moved to the cosmopolitan city of London where she started her business career. I have two children, one uh, daughter who's 17. She was bo uh, born in England, but um, she speaks Greek very well because she goes to Greek school here. And uh, my son is also settling down very well here too. I'm a successful businesswoman. I have traveled around the world. I left home at a very, very early age before I got married. Lorraine has built her career working for international companies in the media, public relations, and fashion industries quickly becoming a staple in the Greek fashion scene. Being a British national and relocating to Greece, Lorraine has truly fallen in love with the country, the lifestyle, the people and the diet. The lifestyle here is so different. I mean, you can wake up in the morning and do so many things. Like You can go to work, but then you can go for a swim and then you can go and eat in a taverna and then you can go and dance and then you go to bed. You know, it's not just Everything can just be done in one single day. In England it's like, okay, you may work from 9 to 5, go home and eat, and then everyone's in bed by 10 or 11 o'clock. So here in Greece there's just no real routine. You can just do so many things in one day, and it's just, you know, it's just perfect. I first came on holiday, probably like most people do, and um, I went to the islands, of course. I travelled on a cruise, I went to Mykonos, Santorini, all the, uh, the islands. But I also visited little small villages and I think that's what made me really fall in love with Greece. I actually remember a little old lady actually coming out, she must have been about 90 years old, and uh, I remember that she came and touched my hair and uh, she insisted that uh, I had uh, some, I think it was an apple or an orange from her, kid, from her, and she just gave it to me, gave me a kiss on my cheek. And it was just, you know, it was just so touching because, she, you know, I was just a stranger to her. So. You know, it's, uh, it's just a fascinating country, a combination of the hospitality, the Greek way of life, and just and the Greek diet, the Greek food, which is, is really, really delicious. Hellenic home hunting followed Lorraine to the city of Larissa. Conveniently located between Greece's two major cities, Larissa is 350 kilometers from Athens and 150 kilometers from Saloniki. I just love Larissa because it's really, really very central. Um, I do a lot of freelance work all over Greece. I travel a lot to uh, uh, Thessaloniki, Patra, and Larissa is just a great place to be because it's central. Being a freelance fashion professional traveling throughout Greece and Cyprus, Lorraine likes Larissa due to its easy access and diverse shopping experience. The city is just great for everything. I mean, it has everything in it. I mean, the fashion, it's got lots and lots of fashion stores. Uh, it has lots and lots of places where I can sit and write. Okay, I can stay at home, but sometimes it's just nice to sit, especially with my kind of job, watch the people go by and actually speak to the people as well because I have to ask them about their opinions about 
fashion and things like that. Um, the cafeterias, uh, there are lots of places as well to go for a drink at night. The nightlife is very, very good. And uh, basically it's like, how can I say, it's like um, it just connects one place from the other. You can stay in Larissa and then just go and travel very, very easily and to other locations. Being a businesswoman on the go, Lorraine has very little time to waste when looking to invest in real estate in Greece. You may say, why did I come to Greece when, you know, there's a, an economic crisis? But that is around the world. But there are so many opportunities here and you just cannot believe everything that you see in the newspapers or, or listen to on the TV. I'm always looking for different kinds of investments. I've been here in Greece. I've been uh, all over Greece looking at different properties, different investments. You know, what can I do as a businesswoman since I've been here? And I came across GreekPropertyExchange.com and uh, I don't know, I just met this real great real estate agent who was so helpful. We've talked about my requirements and um, he's lined up some properties for me to see. Using the internet, Lorraine has found her real estate agent and potential properties to look at. So I have great expectations about finding what I've been looking for. Lorraine is determined to find a property in Larissa to take advantage of the current real estate market. So what is her property wish list? Well, it has to be a big place because I entertain a lot. It's got to be at least four bedrooms. I'd like some land with it. I would like it to be more environmentally friendly. So I'm thinking about an eco home now with you know solar, solar panels, lots and lots of daylight. Of course I would like a swimming pool because I want to be able to swim and have entertain my guests and you know have barbecues and just just hang around hang out at my at my place. I'm sure I'm going to find the perfect property for around 450,000 somewhere there. I'd like to keep it there. I'm really looking forward to going around the properties and all I want to say to you is cheers and see you in Greece soon. Looking to get all the help she can, Lorraine invited her local friend to help with the house hunting experience. Natasa is local to the area and knows about all the neighborhoods and hotspots, giving Lorraine the ultimate support. After communicating with her professional real estate agent, Lorraine is meeting him for the first time. So how was your trip? It was very, very good. It only took me three hours, you know, straight up the highway and I was here. It was very, very easy. Very good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show you Larissa today, which is a mm -hmm. very beautiful city, a living city, mm -hmm. living 24 hours a day. Mm -hmm. So I hope to, if, if you find the right place, uh, the right uh, property, mm -hmm. you will enjoy life in Greece. As you know, that my budget is around up to 450,000. Uh, have you found many properties, you know, within this region? Actually, I have three choices for you. Mm -hmm. One is less. One is about the average mm -hmm. you ask for, mm -hmm. and one is above. You can choose, but. Keep in mind that everything is negotiated over here yes. in Greece. I did mention to you when we first spoke that I was looking for an e-car home because I'm, I'm, I'm very much environmentally friendly. The properties that you're going to show me, are they properties that I, I can make improvements on or, you know? Uh, actually, the properties I'm going to, to show you are, okay. let's say, according to the latest standards. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, you can always make improvements. Do you see a lot of people coming from abroad to invest, not only in Greece, but in Larissa in particular? Actually, there are people coming in Larissa. Mm -hmm. Because now the prices have been reduced, yeah. therefore the people are interested in investing in Larissa. Mm -hmm. Some years ago, the prices were going 10% per year. Mm -hmm. yes. So now we have the reverse. Okay. We're going the other way. Okay. So I think the people are now uh, happy and eager to come here and invest money. With years of experience in the Larissa real estate market, George has the expertise and local knowledge to guide Lorraine. This house hunting experience will be taking them to view three homes in the heart of Larissa and in the neighborhood known as Terpsithea. I'm really looking forward to seeing the properties and Natasha, I'm really looking forward to your advice. You had very counted on me. And helping, Girl. Me, and helping <laughs> me the choice. Okay, Yamas. 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 The team leaves the center of Ladisa to head to the first house. 
The first house is located in the neighborhood of Terpsifea and is a five-year-old South African style home. This is the house located in Terpsifea, which is uh, 10 minutes away from the center of the city of Larissa. It is actually a hilly area, the highest uh, area in the region. It is African style built house. Actually, it is a replica uh, from Johannesburg. The owner of the house was working down there and he brought materials as well as the design from South Africa. What's the price in this house? This is actually the owner asked for 520,000. Right. With four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a size of 265 square meters, this house has a price of 520,000 euros. in the house, please, your impression. Well, it was an amazing house, I really liked it. Uh, it has a lot of light going into the house, which I really like. The design, I don't know, it's just amazing. I loved it, I totally loved it. I like all these uh, small details about the house, like this fountain over there. And the bedrooms were absolutely amazing right. too. The bedrooms were the lighting. amazing. And I noticed that I could turn one into a study if I wanted to. The gardens were amazing, but I just wondered, would there be a space for people to put a swimming pool or not? No, I don't think that uh, there is enough space in order okay. to build a swimming pool. All right. uh, actually, it wasn't the desire of the owners okay. to build a swimming pool. All right, good. I noticed that there was a lot of land around the building, around the property. Uh, would there be any, uh, do you think any future developments which might um, affect the uh, Mm -hmm. myself if I wanted to sell it in the future. Yeah, actually the city plan ends next to this house. Okay. So all the other area is a cultivated area is not is not an area that can construct any, right. any houses or whatever it is. Oh one thing I did notice which I really liked inside the property was that it was very very a lot of daylight going in there mm -hmm. and um, a lot of uh, windows, a lot of glass. Uh, are these glass, uh, is it double glazing? Yes, absolutely. Actually, the house has been constructed with the uh, latest uh, uh, specifications mm -hmm. uh, according to, to the law. Lorraine seems very impressed with the South African home. With a quick five minute drive down the street, will the second home have everything she is looking for? The second house is also located in Terpsithea and is a newly built eco friendly construction. Lauren, this is the eco house we were talking about. Mm -hmm. It is 200 square meters the surface of the residential area. Mm -hmm. There is also a basement of 150 meters. Is it completed or is it inside? No, actually, I mean? actually, it is at the end, at the finishing. But uh, the owner decided to move from the from the city and uh, let left all, let's say, the details mm -hmm. for the new owner to. To, to finish right. that. So it's possible to make a lot of improvements now? Absolutely. Okay. And what's okay, the price in this house? This is 350,000. With four bedrooms, four bathrooms and a size of 200 square meters, this house has a price of 350,000 euros. Okay. <laughs> Let's yeah. move on. All right.
what does Lorraine think about this eco-friendly home? I don't know what to say, really. <laughs> it's, Actually, such a, it's an amazing house. I mean, wow. It, it is. It is an amazing house. Uh, the lit, there is a bit of work to be done. However, I don't think that this costs any harm. No, I, ju I just love it because, I mean, I don't know, it just feels like everything is just right. I mean, I, I can do so much with it. And behind there's some land and I, I can have a swimming pool there. I mean, I mean, it's just already really like an eco house. I mean, it has the, the fireplace, it has the solar systems. It has it's spacious, the layout is wonderful, mm -hmm. nice material they have used to uh -huh. build it up. It has internet in every room, so that's, you know, that's really good. Nice no? colours, the bathrooms, but I'm afraid I don't like the cables or the fact that it is so close to the street and you can hear the noise from the cars. You're right, the noise is, but however, the insulation materials are excellent, so you don't hear anything in the house. It's and really you know bad. what's fantastic? The basement. It's a new house. It's another oh, house, yeah. really. Yes, Can I use that as another and house? See, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. There is also a fireplace installation over there. You just to build the, the fire. Mm -hmm. oh, the that fireplace. would be nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, she has friends over so so often, and I think it will fit your lifestyle. The, the fireplace is used just to warm the whole house for all the winter. We don't use the heating system at all. Really? This is yeah. amazing. Thing you can spend just few few hundred of euros in order to to warm the house during the winter we are just uh, five minutes away from uh, from larissa mm -hmm. and also the hospital is in the close area the view all over the mountain of olibus mountain osa mountain is just amazing you can hardly find any serious drawback <laughs> With a thirst for fashion and shopping, the ladies head back to downtown for a little shopping break before seeing the third house. With their shopping fix out of the way, the team heads to the third and final house. This impressive villa sits on the outskirts of Larissa, just five minutes from downtown. Okay, how do you like the area first? I like the area very much. Um, I like the fact that, like you said, it's well maintained. My first impression of the house, I like it because it's closed in. I really like the idea of it being all closed in, you know, with fences and hedges okay. and, and the gate. Mm -hmm. It just looks, from the outside, it looks really massive. It's like, wow. Plus, it's close to the center and the fashion. With eight bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a size of 350 square meters, this house has a price of 995,000 euros. house than she can handle, what will Lorraine think of this large villa? Well, okay. wow. <laughs> that was a shock, believe me. Yes. It's so big inside. Way beyond our expectations. Yeah, yeah. It is out of your expectation. I told mm -hmm. you it's something that is more than you, what you need, mm -hmm. but it's, it's good. I consider it is good for you to get an impression on mm -hmm. which area we are and what are the properties over here. It was very impressive, but I don't know, I don't really know what I can do with it. 
Okay. You know, you know, you know. I told you I'd like some improvements and make it like an eco home, and I'm not sure I could do it with that. Another thing that I really liked though was the library. You know, above the living room. I mean, that uh, was yeah. just that was just a great idea. I mean, I like to read, so I could go up there. It's really, really spacious and open plan, which I like. Mm -hmm. And one of the bedrooms on the floor had a really amazing bathroom, which was nice. I'm not yeah. sure if that was a, was that a jacuzzi in there. Yes, it is the jacuzzi. Yeah, the bathroom yeah. was one of the kind. Yeah, it was very, very nice. We have the police department over here. You feel safe. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Let's keep an open mind. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lorraine is pleased with what her realtor has shown her. Now she needs to sit down with him to ask some more detailed questions. I wasn't expecting uh, to see, you know, such amazing property really. You know, and the locations, and they were you know, just wonderful. What kind of price would you like to ask you in order to make your decision? I don't know where to start, George. <laughs> I'll try. Okay. I think one of my main questions is like, if I, uh, if I decide to have one of the, well, all of the properties, I'm not going to buy all of them, of course, but <laughs> for each property, um, are they available straight away? How soon would I be able to have the property, the keys in my hand, let's say? Uh, actually, the South Africa property could be available in, within a month. Okay. okay. Yeah, the Eco property mm -hmm. yes. could be within two weeks. And the large villa mm -hmm. will be available within one and a half months. Yeah. What about um, solicitors' fees and, and commissions? I mean, do we have these figures right now, or can you give me a general idea? The fees for the South African style house mm -hmm. are roughly 50,000 mm -hmm. in total. Mm -hmm. The fees for the eco house mm -hmm. are 32,000 roughly. Mm -hmm. All right. okay. And the fees for the large villa mm -hmm. will be more than 70,000. Okay. All right, and the fees include? Include taxes, right? Include uh, uh, solicitor uh, uh, fees, fee, and not notary fees, <laughs> and also the commission for for the, my agents. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And as a UK as a UK citizen, I mean, what can you tell me? Are other things that I you know that I should be careful about, and that I, some things that I don't know about. Actually, the European law is uh, implied, so mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about it. You know, George, why don't you explain to Lorraine uh, what the notary fee is? If you could explain it just a little bit right. better to me. Okay, a notary is a, a legal expert who maintains, let's say, the property file records. Oh, okay. Yeah. And actually, we're passing through that, mm -hmm. through that expert, in order to have a transfer from one person to another. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, also, there is an agency here, we call it Hypothico Filatio, which is uh, all the records of the properties are over there for each community, mm -hmm. for each city. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're passing through that, they draft the contract mm -hmm. and uh, they are reimbursed for that, which is more or less 1% of the state value. After speaking with George and getting more advice, Lorraine feels more confident to make a decision. I hope to, to have done everything possible for you in order to assist you to make the right decision. Yeah, okay. okay. I think I'll have your answer very shortly, but I'm going to do some thinking, okay? Okay. All right, thanks very Thank much. much. Thank you, George. <laughs> Having relocated from London, Lorraine now lives in Greece, looking to invest in a home in the city of Larissa. The lifestyle here is so different. I mean, you can wake up in the morning and do so many things. Loving the Greek culture has driven her to remain in Greece. But will this love result in her finding a dream home? If we get serious about the properties, I mean, as a friend, which one would you really like? The first house has four bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a price of 520,000 euros. It has a lot of light going into the house, which I really like. The design, I don't know, it's just amazing. While she likes the style of the home and the daylight coming in, she does not have enough room to add a swimming pool. The gardens were amazing, but I just wondered, would there be a space for me to put a swimming pool or not? The second house has four bedrooms, four bathrooms, and a price of 350,000 euros. Already, really like an eco house. While she likes the eco-friendly features, the electricity cables and noise from the road is an issue. 
but I'm afraid I don't like the cables or the fact that it is so close to the street and you can hear the noise from the cars. The third house has eight bedrooms, six bathrooms, and a price of 995,000 euros. That was a shock, believe me. <laughs> it's so big inside. While the large villa impressed her, the size of the house is more than what she needs. I don't really know what I could do with it. To be honest, I thought you would uh, be inclined to choose a large villa. Mm -hmm. You know what my problem was? It was just, when I walked through, it was just so huge. When I walked in, it was like, wow, you know, what, what am I going to do here? And I, I just thought, uh, okay, it was above my budget. And also, yeah. I just thought there was lots of maintenance work. So you're still indecisive or you have fallen for one of well, the three okay, houses? No, the big villa was definitely out. Due to the large villa being over budget and too large, Lorraine has eliminated this from her consideration. Now they need to select between the South African style and the modern eco home. But both houses belong to very nice couples. I, I liked both of them. Yeah, well that's what I got when I came to Lara, so everybody's so friendly everywhere you go. See, so, did yeah, I tell no, you no, before? It didn't, it didn't yeah. surprise me, it didn't surprise me that people were, you know, were very friendly. But when it boils down to it, both houses were very, very different. The eco house, I was thinking, yeah, this is great because it's, there's so much I could do to it that still needs doing. Mm -hmm. But then when I thought about it, and I think I'm going to go for the South African house. Really? It's just the design. I mean, I can just, uh, it's I the fashion. Know, yeah. You know what I'm doing it? It's just the fashion. Okay, it's a little bit egoistic, but I just can imagine all these fashion designers. They're just going to walk through and they're going to go, wow. Can you imagine the fashion part of this? I have pictured it already. Let's drink to that. <laughs>Lorraine selected the South African style home located in Terpsithea, which features a modern design, open floor plan, detailed finishes, and a fantastic garden. <music> Hellenic home hunting was a positive experience for her. Join us next time for another Greek home hunting adventure.